Tell me what it's like to be a surrogate with uh, Hillary Clinton. I've been having a fun time here. Um, not only am I a surrogate, but I've been booking surrogates. And what we're finding is that the radio shows across the country are looking to hear from people. And the people want to hear what we have to say about issues, mm -hmm. about the fact that we're not talking about a caricature, we're talking about a person. I actually posted a Facebook post today, which isn't really a being a surrogate, but in some ways that's the next generation of surrogacy. And um, I talked about how I've known Hillary Clinton for the last tw more than 20 years. Mm -hmm. And in those 20 years, she's asked me about my kids, my grandson. She's asked me about um, what I think about and care about. Um, she's whispered in my ear. Um, that's a real person, and I'm really happy to be here supporting her. What does it feel like when you're that close to a person and you hear uh, the Bernie, 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 and people saying we're not getting a fair shake? Uh, that, that, that has to bother you. I think it bothers everyone, um, not from the standpoint of, okay, let's listen here. Um, I, I'm the establishment in many respects because I was on the DNC for over 20 years. But I have to tell you, I worked hard. I, we, people, many of the people in this room, in this, in this convention, are people who have knocked on doors, made calls on the radio, on, on phones, mm -hmm. phone banks, who have campaigned across the country for Hillary Clinton. I mean, and in their states for not only the presidential candidate, but for candidates up and down um, the ballot. Mm -hmm. We understand what it's like to lose an election. We do. We mm -hmm. all of us have lost elections in the past, and it's disappointing. But what we all know is that we are stronger together. Stronger together. Susan, I, uh, in the past, have had the opportunity while I was working in Washington to be with Hillary Clinton some and to talk uh, some about her religion and the books that she reads and so forth. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I was profoundly impressed by, by what I heard. I, I'm saying that to ask you, uh, what, what do you know about Hillary that other people need to know that they probably don't know? I could tell you an interesting story. Okay. Um, many, many years ago, I was at an event at the White House, and someone told me that Hillary had just been into many Eastern European countries. And um, I, one of those countries was Ukraine, and she was in a town called Lviv, which is a large city, but people in America don't know much about it. Yeah. Um, it is very close to where my father grew up. And um, I had mentioned to someone on the staff that my father had grown up right there. And, the, and so when I saw Hillary, I said, I understand you were in Lviv. And she looked at me and she put her hand on my shoulder and she said, Susie, you should have seen the synagogue. And I looked at her and I said, and, and I said you know, it's very possible that my father had been in that synagogue. Hmm. And, and she said, well, I'm going to be talking at the State Department Maybe you can come and see my presentation. My goodness. Now, people like that yeah. are real people who have real, real cares. And it was the first time in my life that I had ever talked to someone who had been where my father had, been, had grown up, who could talk about it in that way. Yeah. Susan, is this going to be a tough race? right up until election day? It is because it's been an uncharacteristic race. And I mean, we're talking, everybody knows, we're talking about reality versus reality TV. They're yes. quite different. I think what, the, um, what Donald Trump did today was irresponsible. Um, he does that every day. And this is too serious. The idea of, of of, of someone who is not only um, persecuting specific religions, mm -hmm. but people of, of, of different faiths of, of, of all kinds, but but also persecuting people who really don't think the way he does, and um, that is not the America um, that we all stand for. The America we all stand for is why we held our signs last night and why everyone was touched when Michelle Obama talked about waking up in a place that was built by slaves. Well, one other question. I, we are, um, 
we, we need a policy debate in this election. We badly need that. You mean 140 characters isn't enough, right? <laughs> no, no, it's not enough. What I'm, I want to ask you is, are you worried that we'll spend so much time talking about characters that we won't get to the policies? Um, I know that the Clinton campaign and all of us will be talking about policies. We're going to be talking about making life better for, for people who, who are struggling. But we're also going to recognize that the same way Michelle Obama said it the other night, we are already great. Let's make it greater. Listen, thank you. I know how busy you are, and I appreciate you coming by to talk with us. Uh, you're always welcome on State of Belief Radio. Thank you so much. Thank nice you. To be with you.